Hello YouTube, it is still Wednesday, the 29th of November. It is beautiful out today in Phoenix, by the way. I hear it's really cold in other places. Some people dealing with snow and shit like that. Phoenix right now is a bit of a breeze. You now you see a lot of Phoenicians walking around with heavy coats on. I got jeans and just a long sleeve dress shirt. I'd be okay in a t-shirt right now. I'm just passing a guy that's chilling in a t-shirt. It's beautiful, sun shining for some in the shade of a, of a tall building. But uh, court went well. I was so nervous because I was, I was just a couple minutes late. But yeah, I did get delayed a little bit uh, going through security. Um, now she, uh, or the guy, as soon as I walked in, like I just immediately pulled the knife out of my pocket and, and held it up. I said, I held it up, not with the blade out or anything crazy like that. <laughs> but I'm like, I said, I'm so sorry. I forgot this was in my pocket. I need this for work. And they were all right. Like they checked that. And then come to find out, they also checked my paint pen, which I didn't realize they had done. Um, Cause I handed them the knife, but I guess they pulled, pulled my paint pen out of my, uh, out of my the beautiful Orpheum theater behind me. Yeah, they pulled, 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 pulled my paint pen out of the cup that I put all my stuff in. I didn't realize they did that. They never told me that. So when I was up in the courtroom and I was trying to explain what the knife was for and how we used them at the rental car center, I uh, started feeling through my pockets. I'm like, I'm missing my pen. I'm missing my pen. And I was a little bit panicked about it. Not like it's a big thing. Oh, and I don't know if I mentioned this. My, I found my pink one. It's a little dented up, but it works great. I misplaced the white one night before last some, some time out working probably left it in a car maybe dropped it somewhere which is a bummer because that white one worked really good but this particular pink one works really good too the other pink one I found eh, not so much I, I, that was one I just found that some other person who works there left behind in the car all right first avenue and Adams Oh, this is Adam Street. Now I get why they probably call the restaurant over there Adam's Place. It's all coming together. Renaissance Square. There's Lurs Tower off in the distance. And check it out. There's one of them robot cars up close. Did you see? No driver in the car. I mentioned the paint pen and they're like, oh, I was so relieved. And I told them I was worried I lost it. And they're like, oh no, we keep those. And I'm like, I'm like, oh. And he goes, oh yeah, because people come in here and they'll go inside and they'll mark up the bathrooms. And I'm like, why would I want to do that when my taxes go to taking care of this building and cleaning up that building? And they just looked at me funny. And I guess some people don't think about where their money goes and when they do shit like that. But I do. Huh. So, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a text message from Priscilla. Go home and get sleep. I, I, I'm rolling on three hours sleep, but I'm wide awake right now. You know, when people tell me, oh, I'll go home and get sleep, it's, it's like a presumption that I have an off switch. Yeah, it doesn't work like that. When I'm up and I'm energetic, there there is no go home and get sleep. It would just be a waste of time, especially since I'm here downtown and I can ride the light rail from this station. I wonder why everybody's waiting in those seats down there. That seems odd because the train actually stops in front of these seats right here. People do weird things. Maybe they don't know. Actually, I... No, I'm pretty sure the train stops by these seats here. It might be long enough to cover those seats. I don't know. I always wait over here. Oh, wow, I never really noticed that. That's pretty cool. I like how that, that building behind me... I forget the name of that tower. I think that used to be the U.S. Bank Tower. But U.S. Bank has since vacated it. And their sign's gone. So I don't know what they call the tower now. But the building formerly known as the U.S. Bank Tower. Um, I'm digging 
how it reflects off that curved building. It's neat looking, and I hope, hope my, uh, hope I'm aiming my camera right to get it. I still don't have a working forward-facing camera. Okay. Uh, disembodied voice just said the next westbound train will arrive in two minutes. All the speakers are down this way, as opposed to over here, where the uh, where the train actually stops. I like the mural of the bears. My attorney's name now is Chris. Things went good in court. Sorry, I'm not making a whole lot of sense right now. Um, yeah, things went good in court. I got connected with this group called Wren. So I'm, I'm yeah, they seem like great people. Um, I'm going there Thursday morning for an intake appointment and to tour the facility. So I'm pretty excited about that. And um, now they did ask me my access number and I told them, I said, I, my understanding, my access got canceled. And they're like, well, no, you couldn't be getting services if it did. But I remember the, like a month ago ish, when the, uh, when the, benefit specialist at, at the Mitchell Clinic. Oh, look at this person. They just turned right from the left lane. Y'all see that? I hope I got that in the Jeep. Oh, she almost walked in front of traffic with her suitcase on the don't walk sign. She looked to the right and realized there was a Toyota Prius that was going to mow her down if she did that. Scooters everywhere downtown. It looks like it's all lime and spin. I think Bird blew it with their contract down here because Bird used to be down here and I don't think they're down here anymore. Speaking of companies blowing it, I'm pretty sure that building directly in front of me on the corner that's now vacant. It's not weed. That building on the corner directly in front of me, I think that used to be the Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, most definitely was a Dunkin' Donuts. See the, the orange and the pink DD on the door handle? That's a bummer. Dunkin' Donuts is closed. I like going to that Dunkin'. Here comes my train, so I need to wrap this up. I'm, I'm headed over to my mental health clinic. I don't want to touch base with my, uh, with my case manager and let her know what all has happened. But all went good at court today, and I'll explain more about that um, later. I'm almost to the Park Central Station is at Osborne and Central. Check out that scooter. Hopefully I can get a shot of the scooter. It's neat. It looks like an old vintage Husker. There it is. I was watch, watching and waiting for it to go across since there's a green light or something earthbound. But yeah, no, he's, he's waiting there in the left turn lane. That thing's gorgeous. That scooter's awesome. just go but there's kind of intermittent traffic on northbound central so that's the this is called the financial center yeah the phoenix financial center oh it's a, it's a heritage heritage 150 <laughs> the crossover suv thing behind him seems the driver seems kind of frustrated he's not moving faster but in this part of town people just need to slow down anyway there's a lot of pedestrians and there really should be more pedestrians hey look it's another one of those phoenix bike racks that's been plowed into by a car that's the second one i've seen this week that's the phoenix financial center the two domes and then that tower with the trippy looking windows it's curved 
There's supposed to be another tower identical to it built on the other side, but it never got finished, and of course it never will get finished. And that's the direction I need to be going. Yeah, I better go to the crosswalk. I'm about to become that guy I always complain about who jaywalks so close to the crosswalk. Life would be oh so sweet if I was a bicycle seat. Ride, ride, little feet. Sit on me, I'm a bicycle seat. Oh goodness, was I singing out loud again? Uh, everything I really need is riding right upon that seat. <clears throat> All right. I love this architecture here. Right down to the crazy looking curved handrails to what should be a front entrance because it faces the street but of course please use entrance on the opposite side of the building because you know what good is an entrance that goes to the street people in Phoenix need entrances to parking lots ah uh, yes they paved paradise and put up a parking lot there's the other dome it sits by itself because its tower never got built it's an interesting bit of history that tower was built in two phases you can see they kind of split in the middle there bottom half was built and then several years later they built the top half There's an upside down pyramid that looks very much like the building that the uh, Tempe uh, City Hall is in. In fact, it looks very similar. I almost wonder if same plans from the same architect and it's literally identical buildings in different places. I've never really noticed how much. Oh, look, we got a Model 3 right here, Tesla. Uh, yeah, I never noticed just how much that building looks identical. The Tempe City Hall, upside down pyramid. I really dig this. I'm just walking over to the Mitchell Clinic, taking the scenic route. So this is one of the first drive-through ATMs in Phoenix, I believe. And these have been shut down for decades. But I like the structures up above. For shaded for the two people that go through. One car on each side. I'm going through it backwards. Oh no, no, I'm going through it in the right direction. This would have been the way you drive. But actually, no, I, I think this was just a drive-through teller because there's the call button and there's where the where the little tube would come out with your stuff. But if, as I remember right now, there's a lock here. It says out of order, and you can tell by the decay on the out of order sign just how long it's been since these have existed because there's no bank in this building anymore. I mean, look at this decay from the age and lack of care to keep it up. There used to be video screens there. I'm wondering if it like was maybe so you could see the teller's face via like closed circuit TV. I really don't know. As you can see, even the, the asphalt is kind of aging. That's so good. So this place I'm supposed to be getting my anger management group with is called Wren, and they gave me the address. And it's like in the 100 block of East Osborne, which is the street I crossed to get to the financial center. This is the, the Mitchell Clinic here, like the Mitchell Clinic here. So from where she described it, I almost wonder if that's it right, that is it right there. I'm gonna walk over there. It's not like I have an appointment with my case manager right now. Yeah, she described it's just literally across the street. She wasn't kidding. So I guess I should explain more about that. The people were there for Wren. I think they were there for another person that was at the mental health court. But 
so I was talking with the attorney and telling him about the troubles I had. And he's like, yeah, I've told the prosecutor that you've been in touch with me. You've been texting me continually about the issues you've been having. Oh, I wonder why they got this fence up here for this one part of the parking lot. That's odd. Um, I believe those are private residences there. 56 and 60. Pretty interesting modern architecture. Uh, so they got a hell of a nice Corvette up in there. So I was telling the gals at Wren that, yeah, I'd be able to, <laughs> not a public throughway. Sure it's not. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, that I thought the best route from where the Mitchell Clinic was to Wren would be to walk underneath the parking lot for the financial center and they seemed a little lost about that but no this is exactly how i was remembering it and thinking this walk would work out and telling them that yeah when you're when you walk that this is shaded and i think i could cut through from the other side as well like walk down this whole block underground um but yeah it's shaded and and when you're in the shade and you get down underground like this it can be you know 10 10 or more degrees cooler down here than walking out in the sun I mean, it's a beautiful day today in Phoenix, but it's also into November. But, you know, six months out of the year, well, four months out of the year, it's brutally hot. And two more of those months, it's still pretty damn hot. But that's the, uh, that's the price that Phoenicians pay to uh, have it so beautiful in November. Another cool view of the financial center. But yeah, that parking lot, that whole vast, nearly empty parking lot, and that shows you how few tenants are left in the financial center. Uh, today's a business day. Um, it's kind of sad. I hope that building never gets bulldozed. It's an interesting piece of architectural history in Phoenix, uh, even if the second tower never got built. But yeah, this vast parking lot here, this mostly empty, there's a whole nother level down underneath. So this is Wren. I forget what that stands for, but I got a business card in my pocket. I like that mural. I don't know that I've ever really noticed that mural before. You are not alone. So I think it's a peer support services center for people with severe mental illness. And they, they offer a lot more than just the anger management, but I'm here to satisfy the stupid courts anger management thing. That beautiful mural is beautiful. Looks like that's supposed to be an old Ford pickup. I miss practical trucks like that. It's just sad how that beautiful truck has evolved into the killing machines of today. Got hummingbirds and butterflies and flowers and a rainbow. I like it. Oh, there we go. Ren Recovery Empowerment Network. And this is the door that faces the street. It should be the front entrance, but <laughs> her main entrance. Let's go to the back of the building where the parking lot is. I like to get Christmas lights up. Yeah, I've used this walkway before, even though it doesn't really connect. Just because I feel a lot safer walking on a walkway that's set back from the street. Then uh, I'm building something over there. Third and Osborne. Yeah, I feel a lot safer walking set back from the street than on a sidewalk that's so close to a store like this. Oh, it's a VIP taxi. I'm just driving for a VIP taxi. And as strodes go, Osborne is definitely one of the more chill ones. But yeah, there's nothing to protect pedestrians from the motor vehicles that are getting regularly larger and more dangerous for pedestrians. Flying down. Well, look, that SUV crossover thing's just rolled up on the ass of that uh, Prius. And what was the point of that? What did that accomplish? Could have either changed lanes or just followed at a safe distance. But he just rolled up right on the ass and jammed on his brake behind that Prius. Something about the people that drive past over things and those big killing machine trucks are staying right. My intake is on Thursday, so I don't think there's any point of me 
walking in here. And uh, I don't really want to video anybody going in and out of here. I'm just trying to get the, the building and the walk walking route. Well, it does look like if I walk north that I can actually go out this parking lot to Mitchell. So I'm thinking that's what the two representatives, the, the two women, one of them was stunningly gorgeous. The other one looked really good for her age, which was probably about the same as my age. Well, for all I know, she might be 10 years younger than me. It's funny how that works. But, uh, ooh. Ooble. Yeah, when she's talking about being across the street in the parking lot, I'm sure that's what she was talking about. And it's looking like the entrance is actually on that side of the building facing Mitchell. The entrance really should be that facing the street. But then again, there's no bus route on Osborne, and there really should be a bus route on Osborne. There's the Mitchell Clinic directly across from me. I'm curious if I can walk. I would imagine they've got security watching cameras if I actually start walking farther into the... Uh, no bicycles, no skateboards, no roller skates allowed. Rollerblading in parking garages is so much fun. Ah. Yeah, worst they can do is tell me to believe. Wow, this is one crazy spooky old parking garage. It's big down here too. Look at that. Wow, and it looks like it goes farther back on the sides. Not much farther, but a little bit. Yeah, so there is some space underneath the ramps and the farthest rows. So we've got one, two, three, four, five rows of parking, all covered, all empty. Why is this not a park and ride for that light rail station right adjacent to it? This would make such a perfect parking ride for the light rail station, which is right outside. I can see scars on the pavement where you can see it used to be 45 degree parking. So this being a one way lane coming in with parking to the, the right and the left. And then it's been changed to 90 degree parking. I don't know what these vehicles are here. I'm seeing a bunch of these. Oh, Kobe security. <laughs> That's the people that's going to be running me out of here, probably. That seems to be the main thing in here is security. I see too many other vehicles. Blue killing machine truck. Got a bike rack and a cage that could potentially be locked, but it's not. Hey, this has got perfect. That's neat. It looks like there's a way to close a gate here on a track. That's neat. Please use caution on stairs. There's also elevator access to the surface for those uncomfortable with the stairs. You are here. Uh, so the elevators are over that way. Hmm, elevators or stairs? Those are pretty neat stairs. And they go right up into the courtyard of the financial center. That's a pretty wild view of that building. That's a view I've never seen of it before. I like that. I think I'm gonna try to use the elevators. But no escalators. I'm not sure if I've mentioned this in the vlog yet this week, but last week I'm riding the escalator into the uh, rental car center from the third floor where I work for Hertz. And I, I think I was just going up to use the, the Wi-Fi for just a couple minutes, trying to upload or download a file or something. But I never have enough bandwidth to do that with either of my phones. So these are the elevators. Wow, those are some narrow old elevator doors. We cannot assume responsibility for damage to vehicle or loss of contents. Garage elevators in service only between 5 a.m. and 7 p.m. Monday through Friday. Oh, this is good. Due to COVID-19, elevators limited to four people at a time. Are we still playing that game? That's so I'm assuming it says B, A, and G. Wonder what B is. I'm assuming that was on A, but I didn't even look up to see. So this is G. What up, G? Oh, here's Red. 
There's the top deck. Another view of the financial center. That interesting wall. I didn't really know it's before. And there's the drive up tellers. And you can see there's a little shelter on that direction. There used to be another drive up teller. And there's another one of the security vehicles. Interesting seeing Kia Souls used as security vehicles. And there's a little piece of the parking lot that's fenced off for whatever reason. Security. Well, that, that ramp is odd, isn't it? You see, there used to be a gate and somebody like the charge for parking or whatever and and that's no longer manned because this lot's just really not used anymore <laughs> this is crazy so much vacancy here i mean this is like prime location in uptown phoenix kind of sad rates include all taxes and there's parking rates the signs just dilapidated as hell Caution, you must please pull forward. Gate will bend automatically. Let's take ticket. It just doesn't look like this paid parking is functioning at all anymore. Still, I'd be nervous to park there for any length of time for fear of getting towed. Fun to walk through. Oh, here's LIFO. I'll talk more about um, what happened at court after a roll out of here. I love exploring areas like that and while I've walked through the the part where I go down and under over to Osborne Road I've never really gone towards the Wren building and I've never uh, gone deeper into that parking garage or even really noticed that, that that little building there was actually the top end of an elevator so pretty fascinating stuff now I have the pedestrian entrance to this like this is a clinic but where does one go where's the stairs to go up to where the stuff is because this is all parking for motor vehicles but I guess everybody's supposed to have one. Oh, just just the elevator that's it oh so I was saying yeah I was riding the riding the escalator to use the Wi-Fi and and a song popped into my head that I haven't thought of in well over a decade uh, escalator of life by Robert Hazard and I'm gonna try to remember to put a link in the video description but that song has been stuck in my head since. Um, hey, let's check out the acoustics of the elevator. Escalator. Elevator. This is an elevator. I can I get this words confused or somewhere, but it's like uh, we're riding on the escalator of life. We're shopping in the human mall. It's it's like the most eighties new wave thing imaginable. Going down. I'm trying to go to case management. That's the next That's one up. I'm going up. This toilet paper dispenser tells you pretty much everything you need to know about the services and how well things are uh, maintained and or broken at the LifeWell Mitchell Clinic. Hey, at least there's some butt wipe here. 